Well, this is uh, a, what's called a living biobank. This is the actual the tank room where these amazing animals that we saved are actually frozen in time, stored at minus 196, ready to be brought back to life at a moment's notice. Why does it need to be that temperature? Because that's very, very cold. There's lots of biobanks all around the world. And what we're doing slightly differently to a lot of other biobanks is that we're freezing the, the cells down. And you've got to imagine, if I was to put this in your freezer now, say you put a bottle of wine in your freezer and you forgot about it, what happens to that bottle when it, when it, when it freezes? It Cracks. expands and breaks. Exactly, we need to put that in. And that's what happens to most biobanks out there. They look at the DNA, but all those cells are non-functional. They just fracture and break. What we do is literally, a bit like to take the lid off, we dehydrate that cell. It's got the DNA in there. Then we freeze it out, and effectively that cell stays alive for 10, 20, or 1,000 years time. We can literally bring it back 